Welcome to Ream Tech Tips. Ream New Zealand Limited does not in any way endorse the installation or maintenance of Ream products by an unlicensed practitioner. The work shown in this video is provided as a guide only. Full instruction manuals are available online from my Ream Pro. This time we're going to show how to diagnose faults which will display error code 12 on Ream Series 2 gas continuous flow water heaters. If the PCB detects the flame at the burner during the ignition sequence, then doesn't detect the flame at any time afterwards, the unit will try a reignition sequence of five consecutive events, ending with error code 12 being displayed if no flame was detected. The common cause for this is where the water heater is being starved of gas. A problem with the gas supply may give us sufficient gas for the burner to light initially, but not enough flow to maintain the burner flame during operation. The fault finding will need to include checking the inlet working gas pressure to rule out supply issues first. With the unit operating, check the working gas pressure at the inlet test point. A static test will not prove there is sufficient flow for the unit to run. If there are other gas appliances on the system, these should be operated on full and the inlet working pressure at the water heater checked again. If the inlet working pressure is good, the problem is a fault inside the unit which can now be checked. Connect a manometer to the burner test point, open a hot tap, and monitor the reading. If this pressure is too low when compared to the rating label on the side of the unit, follow the procedure for adjusting the high and low burner pressures using the max, min and adjust buttons on the PCB. This is covered in detail in tech tips number two. If the burner pressure is incorrect and adjustment is not possible, Follow details in Tech Tips number 9, which covers how to diagnose inlet gas control valve faults. If the burner test point pressure is correct during the ignition sequence, there may be a problem with the burner solenoid valves 1, 2 or 3, or the PCB. Tech Tips number 10 covers how to diagnose these faults. Following this logical sequence to check for faulty components, which may cause the error code 12, will ensure the correct diagnosis to get the unit operating again. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, full product details, spare parts, installation and service manuals are all available through my Ream Pro. Also, our nationwide service centre network can provide further product support if required. So just reach out to the team.